Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to uh, thank the Honourable Member for this question. Uh, Madam Speaker, the Honourable Members of Parliament may remember that uh, Government introduced a bill in Parliament and subsequently it was passed by Parliament, which is called the Fair Reporting of Credit Act. Prior to that, Madam Speaker, we had an organization or company called Data Bureau that took it upon itself to start collating information or credit information on individual citizens and of course financial institutions in Fiji without any regulation whatsoever. And notwithstanding the fact that it was not a regulated environment nor a regulated organization, it essentially determined the lives of many Fijians because people could go and report any sort of credit that people owed to this particular agency called Data Bureau and they would simply put your name within the system. So for example, if I owed $50 to an internet company, they could go and put my name in Data Bureau and even though that bill may be disputed, next time I went to courts, I went to get a loan to your higher purchase or get a loan, they would say, you have not paid your previous debt, sorry, we cannot give you a loan. Many Fijians suffered that. I remember very clearly elucidating that, and unfortunately the opposition did not support us at that time, but fortunately we, of course, have the numbers where we actually passed the fair reporting of credit. Madam Speaker, also within that system, you had no right of appeal. So as we were told, numerous horror stories where, for example, uh, in particular one internet company, uh, even though the services may be down for three months or two months, the individual consumers would get a bill and they would dispute it, but notwithstanding that dispute, they would still go and report it, and subsequently an individual could not access credit. So, fast-tracking it now, Madam Speaker, under the Fair Reporting of Credit Act, this act now regulates the environment of credit reporting, as many jurisdictions do have. So now, Madam Speaker, you have to be a licensed credit reporting agency regulated by the Reserve Bank of Fiji. And in the context of what the Honourable Member has actually asked, uh, we have a company called Credit Information Reporting Agency, PTY, PTE Limited, or commonly, which would be commonly known as CIRA. That would be the organization that has actually been given a license by the Reserve Bank of Fiji. Now, the directors of the company, Madam Speaker, which have to operate in a regulated environment, the directors of the company, Madam Speaker, um, are Mr. Winston Penjueli, uh, Ms. Janine Penjueli, and Ms. Lorraine Foster. These individuals are the directors of this company. They have a background in finance and various other uh, prerequisite requirements to run such an agency. They will be governed by the fair reporting of credit. Also, Madam Speaker, as highlighted, uh, you cannot, for example, simply go running off to this organization if somebody owes you $50. There's a minimum threshold. So just because somebody owes you $100, $150, you cannot. And Madam Speaker, from memory, the minimum amount is uh, $300. And I stand to be corrected on that. I have not recently looked at this, but it's about $300. So in that way, it's regulated. Also, for example, if somebody puts your name there when they shouldn't have, you have a right of appeal. Previously, there was no right of appeal. People actually used to go and pay people off to get their names off the list. So, Madam Speaker, this will uh, create a very healthy environment for reporting credit. Of course, you do need a credit reporting agency in any good financial system because we also do need to know there are some people who actually don't pay the credit. We do need to know who are the people who actually breach the conditions of, uh, of the loan. Uh, they've taken. So it will also enable banks and other financial institutions, including higher purchase companies, to make some smart decisions, but also it protects at the same time the consumers who want to access credits. Uh, the bank approved the license uh, for this uh, for CIRA on the 29th of March. We expect them to be operational within the next few months. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.